guys, Laura here from Hedgehog's Homestead. I started a second um, uh, planting of uh, cucumbers and a few other things. And I'm starting to know that we're, notice that we're getting some little mini cucumbers on. If you guys have loofah, come check this out. Um, we've been waiting, loofah is always the end, end of the year kind of plant. So it really helps if you have a little extra season on your your growing area so what i'm going to show you here if you look at your loofah plant and you look there you got a little you can see little nubs right there right there right there my loofah is going crazy all over the place. You can kind of see them right there, little nubs. And those should lead, got lots of ants on there, to some loofah right there. And I have been told, I've only had, the heck is that? You can see there that that should lead to loofah and once once they put on what i've been told um is once a loofah starts actually putting on the plant um now is the time to really start feeding it which i'll give a little extra feed um to make sure that we are getting loofah on let me see i'm trying to see if we can find any but they're they grow in the little pits and there is a baby loofah right there, guys. That is a start. And there is more of where it's going to flower. So I'm excited to see this loofah plant. Oh, look at there, guys. Here you go. Look at that. That is going to start to flower. And this right here as well. So exciting stuff. So we're looking forward to bringing you guys some good videos on our loofah. And sorry, my husband's trying to call me. I'll call him back in just a second. And uh, just exciting stuff. I hope I get loofahs this year. This is my big one of my big goals in moving here and putting loofah seeds out is to make sure that I get some. And I've never seen that kind of stuff. As long as a, a bug does not eat the, the end of this flower off, those flowers should turn into loofah plants or loofah, loofah gourds. Sorry. Exciting. So excited.
All right, you guys, I just went ahead and pulled out those uh, um, potatoes too that I had in those buckets and we'll be using those buckets for something else. So I'm just gonna grab them and pull them back too so that I remember I can plant something else in those. Uh, maybe put them on the porch. We're getting cucumbers on, guys. Can you guys see that right there? Woohoo! Exciting. As soon as this gets all the way dry, we're, we'll harvest that. And then we have our other head over there that should be ready to go and I'll, I'll need to pick up something to cut this down. Oh. So. Now I gotta figure out what I need to spray on here. It's beautiful. It's starting to rain a lot more out here. Um, that's exciting. But when you're trying to spray for bugs, it makes it hard. So I'm gonna go over here and see if I can just squash as many eggs. These kind of eggs are really hard to squash, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try because I don't like bugs, but I prefer to deal with them organically. Um, but I hope I get this watermelon. So exciting. First time I've ever grown a watermelon where we've produced an actual watermelon. I'm gonna go get two bags. I forgot to do that, dog, got it? Actually, I only need one now, or a piece of cardboard, and put it under the watermelon um, because the pumpkin is right there and it's hanging on this trellis now that was used for the tomatoes. So we'll just leave it there. And there's a, um, a nice little cucumber over there too. So. Yay, the garden that I started a month and a half ago is starting to produce. So exciting, guys. Love living in Tennessee where I can start a second harvest. And hopefully we make it to it's totally grown over. So I have some organic potatoes in the house that I wanna put in those buckets. Um, the organic potatoes should give me potatoes they have every year. I've tried it. Um, so I'm, I put them in a warm, dark place so that they'll give us some, some eyes and then we'll plant them in the ground. So I was wondering what was eating my tomatoes. And look at here, folks. Hey, nobody said you could come over here and eat tomatoes, you dirty little thing. So you go somewhere else. No, kill him. He's got to be killed. See, that's why they call him horns. Look oh, yeah, because... Horn. Where's his head? Up here. Oh, okay. Look, he's pooping. Or he's gra grabbing. Man, he's... St stuck on there good. Is this... There. Gross. I better check if there's any more. Yeah. Look, look what look what he did, yeah. the damage he did, the little Well, stinker. you know what's gonna happen to him? He's gonna get he's gonna get some pavement treatment. Ready? Here I'm gonna throw him in there and chop him up. Oh. <laughs> look, watch. Oh There go! Hornworm destroyed. Better, you didn't even know it hit him. I better check if there's any yeah. more. Then throw them into the AC. 
Man, he's done some damage. I have never had hornworms before. What's eat what's eating on these tomatoes? Oh, I got a spray tonight, folks. Well, that's what was doing the damage and like eating my tomatoes like they were apples. Look at that. Incredible. So I was just coming out here to spray and look what I found on my other tomato plant. Stinkers. All right, you guys, we'll see you next time. Thank you for coming as we chase our dreams. You guys go chase yours. And as always, God bless, and we'll see you next time. Bye.